In other news, more than 110,000 households across the Federal Capital Territory expected to benefit from the renewed HOPE Conditional Cash Transfer Program. Under the program, beneficiaries will be enrolled in a three-month cycle one-of-cash intervention of 25,000 naira. TVC's Kemi Balogun reports. Since the removal of foil subsidy in 2023, many Nigerians were faced with different kinds of hardships, especially those considered to live below the poverty line. The federal government provided different forms of intervention through the social investment programs targeted at providing helping poor households to cushion the impact of the prevailing economic hardship. The Renewed Hope Cash Transfer Program is one of those interventions under the expanded national safety net system. This is the flag off of the refresher training for cash transfer facilitators from all the area councils in the FCT. It is to ensure the program reaches beneficiaries in communities so that the poor and vulnerable families get access to these monthly livelihood intervention funds given by the government. It's a refresher training for our cash transfer facilitators on the enrollment exercise for the uh, national so social safety net program scale up of the national cash transfer office the facilitators will be key in the enrollment exercise of beneficiaries for accurate data collection so cash transfer facilitators are the foot soldiers of this program we have to identify the beneficiary first the poor and vulnerable then we need to capture them and collect their basic information that is required so that they will not be missed out. More than 20,000 beneficiaries are expected to be captured across each area council of the FCT through the program starting later this month. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja. And in Kwara State, the federal government has given palliatives and relief materials to some victims in Edu, Moro and Patigi local government areas that are affected by flood there every year. A correspondent of Rhyme Alege has details in this report. Moro, Edu, and Patigi local government areas of Kwara State are no strangers to the ravaging impact of flood waters that flow through their communities every year. The people in these local governments are predominantly fishermen and farmers, and their communities are close to the banks of River Niger. Whenever the floods come, their farmlands and homes are washed away. Sometimes lives are lost too. But some form of respite has come their way through the donation of relief materials and some palliatives provided by federal government agencies and facilitated by their representative in the National Assembly. According to President Tinubu, he said, and I quote, he said, when your neighbor is better off, you have power to sleep very well. But when your neighbor is in mess, you're also in mess. So you advise every member that go back to your constituency to support your people. That's why we're here to give palliative support given to us by through the Federal Minister of uh, uh, Agriculture and the humanitarian to support our people. When flood comes, people used to be to be sad because of the effect of the flood. Many of them used to lack food, health and the other things like that. So this type of uh, uh, remuneration will boost their, their health and the economy. Rice is one of the major crops planted in these communities and this is supported by the federal government through its local content policy. We are celebrating rice that we are growing in our community. Rice that you are seeing here is not from anywhere. We bought it here. After giving up palliative from Abuja, we bring the resources down here that the rice they should buy it here and this too and bag it here. So everything is local content. Beneficiaries believe that the gesture will go a long way to assuage their sufferings. You know what a man can do? A woman can do better. Once you can engage yourself as a woman to do something using her hand, at least you'll be able to cater for your children. And apart from that, as a woman, you'll be able to empower yourself. There's no need for you to be relying on your husband. These foodstuffs and materials are expected to provide succor to the beneficiaries as they equally expect that the economy will soon improve and impact positively on them. Ibrahim Alige, CVC News, Shunga.